Welcome back to Angelvini Nursing Tutorial. In this video, we are going to study about the OBG, the Obstetrical Nursing. So, in that first unit, Midwifery and Obstetrical Nursing. So, here in the first unit, we are going to study about the, what are the introduction. So, about the OBG, all the thing, what is OBG, or what is Midwifery, what is Obstetrical Nursing. So, that all the things we are studying in this video. Okay, let's see midwifery. So, we have heard about the midwifery. What do you mean by midwifery? It's nothing but. So, that is according to WHO. So, WHO, World Health Organization, given in 1972, midwifery is a person. So, is a person and who has been regularly admitted to a midwifery educational programs. So, the person and the, who has been regularly admitted to the midwifery educational program who provide care for their client throughout the pregnancy, labor, birth and also to the, their babies for the first six weeks. So, the person who is giving the care to the pregnant lady. Okay, so their pregnancy and their labor and birth and also they are babies for the first six weeks. So those people we can call it as a midwifery. So those nurse we can call it as a midwifery nurse. So that is the midwifery. So next we are going to see about the obstetrics. So obstetrics means uh, so here which deals with the care of women's reproductive tracts and their children during pregnancy and childbirth and postnatal period. See here, the obstetrics means uh, the person who is take care of the woman during their, uh, sorry, uh, who is take care of the woman, their reproductive tracts and their children during pregnancy and their childbirth and the postnatal period. During their pregnancy and during their uh, child, uh, uh, children during the pregnancy and childbirth and after the delivery. So that or those who is helping, so we can call it is the obstetrics. Okay, so here, so you have heard about the obstetrics nurse. So obstetrics nurse means so who is take care in the woman or the pregnancy woman during their children uh, during the pregnancy and childbirth and after the delivery and the person who is performing is a doctor who is doing such practice and this kind of practice the doctor who is doing so we can call it is a obstetrician okay so we used to call it is who is taking the delivery so we used to call it is obstetrician okay so Obstetrics means uh, the nurse who is performing those uh, care of uh, reproductive tract and their child bearing and to children do children and postnatal period who is take caring. So those is called obstetrics. Okay, so what is midwifery? What is obstetrics? So midwifery is nothing but so the person who is doing the uh, midwifery educational program who provide care for the Client throughout the pregnancy, labor and birth. So, in the first six weeks, so that be midwifery we used to call it is. Here, obstetrics saying like that is a woman, the reproductive tracts and the child during the pregnancy and childbirth. Postnatal period also we can call it the obstetrics. So, that it is a obstetrics. So, what is the LMP? Have you heard about the LMP? So, LMP, so last menstruation date. Okay, so LMB is very important during the pregnancy. Why? Because in the OBG, we are going to study about these all are the terminology. LMB is last menstruation. Date. Okay, so those uh, who they got the last menstruation, from there, we are counting the day for the pregnancy. Okay, so what is that EDD? So, EDD. EDD means estimated day of delivery. Estimated day of delivery. Okay. When you guys are going to the hospital, so there they will ask, what is the LMB? 
LMB of the patient. Okay, so we should ask the patient if it is senior nurses, they will ask. So you ask the patient uh, what is the LMB, what is the EDD. Okay, so what is the LMB? It means the last menstruation day. So we have to ask the patient. Okay, when you got the last period, so when you got the last menstruation. And what is EDD means estimated day of delivery. So the doctor has prescribed, sorry, doctor has already informed them the EDD, the estimated date for the delivery. So that you can ask. These all are the terminologies which are very important during the clinical posting. So next is the functions of obstetrician. So what is the functions of obstetrician means is here. Function first of all is a normal delivery and performing essential assisting steps. So as you are going to study about the normal delivery steps. So there are some of few steps will be there. That is very important during the OBG. So you will study some of the uh, this one steps and the normal delivery and perform the essential assisting steps. That is a very important. Without knowing that steps and that procedure, if you are going to assist the patient, it's very weak and you can't even do your work well. So that is the first functions and performing. And uh, uh, perform the essential assisting steps. Next one is uh, as, uh, facilitating delivery by performing the episiotomy that involves the strategies cut over the perineum of the pregnant mother to enlarge the birth canal. Okay, have you heard about the episiotomy? So, episiotomy is very important during the labor. So, I hope you guys have heard about the episiotomy. It's nothing but, so as you know, what is that uh, birth canal? Okay, birth canal means uh, that vaginal part. It's called the birth canal. So, sometimes that will be very, the first delivery means the birth canal will be very close. Okay, so somewhat close. It's not enlarging properly. So, first delivery. So, those cases, they will cut the obstetrician cut the perineal area so the lateral cut they will do so the cutting of the perineum it's called perineal area so that is called the episiotomy okay so don't forget so that is the episiotomy so these all terminologies you will be studying and day by day during the class okay cutting the perineum okay so here cutting over the perineum of the pregnant mother why we are cutting to enlarge the uh, perineal so a large birth canal the baby has to come very smoothly without any distraction without any obstruction the baby ha has to come out so that they are cutting the episiotomy that is very important steps in the sorry functions of the obstetrician and to cutting that perineal area and this one is the diagnosis and treatment of the atopic pregnancy have you heard about the atopic pregnancy so atopic pregnancy is nothing but the so here, you know the parts of the reproductive, female reproductive system, right? So female reproductive system, here I'm just drawing like simply I am drawing, it's not a correct one, okay? So something like that, like this will be there, okay? This is uterus and this is fallopian tube, okay? I just drawing simply it's not a real diagram so here in the fallopian tube maybe in the isthmus so there is a part this is fimbria okay so the baby uh, this one the zygote okay will be formed in the fallopian tube or the isthmus okay this part the uh, yeah, zygote will be forming here so so that kind of pregnancy we used to call it ectopic pregnancy or the tubal pregnancy. Okay. So that so that is a diagnosis and treatment of the ectopic pregnancy. That this one, this I got or the fear, this one it's not designed to come over the uterus. It should be attached over the uterus, but in some cases it won't be come. That will be there in the fallopian tube only. So that kind of so, uh, this one pregnancy used to call it a ectopic pregnancy, and we should diagnosis and give the treatment for the ectopic 
so which uh, so if it is there means it may get the blast okay so it will break the fallopian tube so we should give the treatment to the uh, specific patient and next one is the cesarean section that requires the surgical removal of the baby mother's wombs to reduce the complication that arise during the labor yes so why we go for the cesarean section it's nothing but the normal delivery vaginal delivery it's not performing so baby it's not able to come out to the birth canal so what we'll do they will go for the cesarean section so we can call it a cesarean section and c section everything you can call so so, so why, what are the cases we are doing the cesarean section so within the time the amniotic fluid okay baby will be in the amniotic fluid it's break the amniotic fluid and baby is not coming out and we will go for the cesarean section and have you heard about the meconium so meconium okay so the meconium the baby passed the meconium baby passing the first stool we used to call it is a first stool of the baby is called a meconium so baby will pass the uh, this one first stool inside the womb so because of that baby if during baby will be coming through the birth canal so baby have the chances to swallow or the inhale that this one stool or the meconium so that is a problem of the baby baby may have the asphyxia difficulty to breathing it will be stuck over the their uh, this one respiratory tract somewhere okay because of that we were doing the dilatation and this uh, this one dilatation and pv pelvic uh, vaginal pelvic examination they will check whether it is meconium is there or not while checking the mucus all those things amniotic fluid is breaks and they will check it whether is uh, meconium that is uh, that is something different color it is like like something that is a dark blue something color so that it is there or not if it is there means uh, so they will go uh, they send the patient for the cesarean section normal delivery it's not performing and next one is a diagnosis and congenital abnormalities while baby is still uh, uh, still within the womb so the baby may have the congenital abnormalities what are the congenital abnormalities you know okay so here we have the congenital normal uh, normalities like whatever like a cleft lip uh, cleft palate here the opening will be there in the upper lip that is called cleft lip and cleft palate that is inside the palate will be opened so that we used to call it is a cleft palate all the cases we should be diagnosed during the pregnancy so that is the obstruction it has to do and advice on the contraception and the fitting the iud what do you mean by iud so have you heard about in the contraception community and the contraceptive method you can study about the iud iud means uh, intra uterine device okay so that is called iud which is fitting over the reproductive tract female reproductive tract so iud example is a copper t i hope it's everyone heard about the copper tape so very important thing and here yeah, this is a vagina they will keep over so this is a female reproductive tract and it's like a thread and like a t-shaped something other this one will be there and keep it over here then that is called a copper tape and so they will advise why they are advising to avoid the unwanted pregnancy so they will advise the patient to use the intrauterine device the last one is detention and management of the absorption miscarriage and procedures like is dilatation curettage and dilatation and evacuation so they want the baby or else they were having any problem or they have taken some tablet during the pregnancy that may affect the baby right so all those things they will go for the abortion miscarriage means it's not but it's abortion the baby got aborted so those cases so during abortion what will have without the full uh, the peak uh, sorry uh, the uh, what are the matters which is there in the womb it is comes out it won't be comes out properly abortion so what they will do they will do the dilatation and curettage okay using some of the instrument and take it out all those things may be attached over the 
uterus all the things they will dilatation dilate the uh, this one cervix and they will be using the curettage they will curettage everything which is there in the endometrium take it out all the things okay so all the thing it, it should be do within the first trimester what is the first trimester i hope you guys is heard about the trimesters there is a three trimester first and second and third first trimester is the 12th week okay so first within the 12th week or the within the three month has to do the abortion within the three month right so after three month is very uh, difficult to do so within that they will do the this one so that is dilatation and curettage and dilatation and evacuation so these all are the functions of the obstetrician is very important you have to list out and you have to study all the things so next one is the qualities of a nursing midwife so what are the qualities of the nursing midwife so we can see these all the things first one is the able to assess the new uh, assess the woman and skillful assist the doctor in a complicated case responsibility to keep the record realizing the responsibilities of midwife and initiating the action of others professional competent counselor coordinator health educator team leader good communication capability care provider and planner of case so when you are writing the qualities of a nursing midwife these are the main and important qualities of the uh, midwife so what are the things is first of all is able to assist the woman so how can assist the woman right during the labor what uh, the woman the pregnant lady will be suffer she may have a lot of pain and she need the support psychological support maybe uh, physical everything has to assist the patient so that is the able to assess the woman next one is a skillful okay so very skillful fraction of second and we should find out the problem complication everything and have to do everything in the emergency situation don't ask what is the thing so what should i do next don't ask if you have any doubt you can ask at the time is asking in this what should i do after this one if the, this comes miss day so during the surgery uh, everyone will be very panic okay they will be very careful and doing their own work at the time if you are asking means they will shout at you don't do like that before or when you are getting the time you can ask and you should be learn everything during the time you should be very skillful to do all those things next one is assist the doctor in a complicated cases yes complicated cases will be there some of the cases i have assisted that also uh, during the labor the baby head has come it's not coming the remaining part at the time what that doctor will be very panic and they were they were thinking that how they will do this situation all the things and we should assist the doctor what their doctor is asking everything maybe any medicine whatever retraction all the things even like pushing whatever we should assist the doctor at the complicated time next one is a responsibility to keep the record okay right so we have to keep the record in a very confidential i hope you guys have studied in the documentation and recording in the first year so their record and reports will be there everything what are the records we are keeping in the hospital it should be confidential and what are the procedure or what are the thing drugs we have given to the patient everything we should be writing in the record it should be confidential and we have as a nurse we have to sign over the this uh, so what are the procedure we have done and we have to sign over that part and there is a responsibility to keep the record and next one is realizing the responsibility of midwife you have to realize you are a midwife you are a nurse what is your responsibility you have to perform at the right time run right time okay so when you are in the hospital you have to feel like i am a nurse okay i should do my work is correctly then only the patient uh, will get the effective care right so the nurse is not giving or not uh, giving their work or not uh, giving medicine or not treating no no care to the patient so feel it 
work no so that is not so they have to realize their responsibility to work and initiating the action for others action of others okay don't be sit silly okay my work is over should i be like that and okay? okay i have the six hour duty or eight hour duty i should be be here it's not like that you have to be initiator for the others okay if you are sitting your juniors also will be see all the things and they will also see it don't do like and you have to take a initiator for the others do the work correctly and learn each and everything see medical field it's not like that uh, we are doing uh, 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 this one we are giving the medicine and we are giving injection that it's not like a nursing so we are learning lot of things so we have to learn learn by doing we will be learn everything next one is a professional competent so we have the professional competent so uh, so when we are uh, talking to the doctors so it is a professionally and it's not like in the hospital we have to be in a person professional and it's a formal way okay so we shouldn't be like uh, like a local when you are in the friends and we will uh, talk whatever it is but in the hospital we should be in a professional competent and next one is a counselor what is a counselor in the sense of here as a midwife so the, we are giving the counseling to the patient and they are related relatives they doesn't know what is surgery is going on what happened to the patient what is going to do the procedure all the things we can say like a, like a counselor we can say it's don't worry about that okay if it is the case is like that we can say if it is very dangerous case not dangerous complicated case means so we have to tell them the fact okay so being as a counselor we can tell there what is the procedure we are doing okay what are the thing has to do and and then all the things which is not um, but make any panic to the patient the way you have to tell next one is a coordinator we have to represent the coordinator of the patient side okay so we have to coordinate and uh, so we we have to make them to uh this one coordinate all the things and they will speak their family members speak and among the health workers also we should have the coordination and health educator right what i said it's like and uh, during that uh, before the delivery so we will instruct the patient to do not have the uh, this one solid food okay they can drink the water like juices water things and why because why we are advising the labor as uh, pregnant woman during the delivery sorry be, before the delivery don't use kind of food means uh, so it, digestion will be very difficult and during the delivery they may defecate okay so that's why we will instruct the patient to don't take the solid food they can take this liquid food like juice or the things they can take and team leader being a team leader okay obstetrician is the being the team leader do the surgery he will before that will the you have to set ready for the all those things and medicines and instruments it's needed for the surgery vaginal surgery also we need the instrument to uh, if it is the baby head is not comes and we can use the speculum and this one okay vaginal speculum all those things its arrangement is very important and those things we can make it as a team leader and uh, get ready for the newborn baby to take care so one nurse will be take the baby and they will give to the baby and they will take care of the baby and suction it and giving the injection suction means uh, so fluid will be filled in there tracheostomy sorry sorry is, is in the inside uh, maybe in the nasal gastric uh, or else in the this one um, uh, this one gastritic also they will take it out the mucus by putting the tubes good communication capabilities during the surgery sorry during the labor or when the patient comes you should have the proper communication it's very very important and next one is a care provider yes so nurse is a care provider and doctor is giving the treatment okay the doctor will prescribe the treatment and the nurse will be provide the care giving tablet and giving all the care but a lot of care we have now so during here also we give you the provider and last one is the planner of the case and we will plan how to do all the case and all with along the doctors so these all are the qualities of a nursing midwife so this is a short and brief uh, of class about the midwifery and obstetrical nursing so this is a introduction class okay so so this is about the midwifery and introduction uh, sorry midwifery and obstetrical nursing 
I hope you students is understood. If you have any doubt, you can ask below the comment box. I will be clarifying. And if you want to take any other classes, like any other subjects, you can mention uh, down the comment box. I will take the class very soon. Okay. So this is about the today's topic. Thank you for watching. Thank you all.